and uh, um, I've just done a whole recording for you and managed to, to lose it so that was great anyway here we go um, what I thought I would do is I know how busy you are and I know how difficult it is when you're at home and you're getting pulled in all different directions and have to see this one that one and the other and you've got things to do so I thought I would do you a little video and um, give you a little bit of an explanation of what it is you're you're looking at and um, so you can make maybe a bit more of an informed decision as to what you actually want um, Please, if you have any questions, even after this, if you've got questions, just ask. I'm, I'm happy to help. But I thought this might just give you a wee bit more of an overview. So first of all, I, I just want to do a, a quick overview of Enyo as it is. It's a three-step step system. So you use the, uh, well, I use a water bottle, which is a very fine spray. You don't need a lot of water with it. So a fine spray of water on whatever surface you're going to clean. You wet, you wipe with the glove cleaning side and a slightly more abrasive side for more sticky on dirt and then you dry behind with the end you fill so wet wipe and dry are the three steps you clean with cold water now people go oh really yes cold water cold water and um, when you spray cold water on the surface that starts to loosen the dirt that is there the fibers of um the glove then when used in a, a circular motion, the fibres go down into the pores of the surface, pick up dirt, pick up bacteria and hold on to it. Now when it's got it, when it's used with cold water, they hold on to it and they don't let it go. So you can clean right round your kitchen. You don't have to stop and rinse it out and start again. You can start as long as you start from kind of the cleanest area and work your way round to the dirtiest area of the kitchen, one glove will do it. And it won't be soaking wet by the end of it if you're just using a fine spray. Um, is you really don't need to use an awful lot of water. If, if you're finding something is particularly sticky, you can't get it off, a bit more of a spray of water will loosen it off a bit more and have another go at it. But um, it's wet, wipe and dry with cold water. When you've finished your wet, wiping and drying, you then want to wash them. Now you wash them in hot water, so 40 to 60 degrees. That allows the fibres to open up and they then release the dirt and the bacteria. That then goes down the, the, the drains and, and off it goes and is dealt with by our sewage systems. So there's no chemicals going down the drains, which is good for the environment. You're not throwing out any plastic bottles because you haven't used any chemicals, which is also good for the environment. But And, and the sewage systems can deal with the bacteria and the dirt that, that goes down the drains to them. So cold water, wet, wipe dry so that's how that works so this is this is the kitchen glove and in your fill um the it, you see it's got two sides that's the cleaning side and that's the side from you can see it's a bit more rough the, the black's a bit more rough and then these very uh, absorbent fibers green fibers run up the side of that um so that side is for the general cleaning if it's a bit stickier or you're maybe in on your cooker hood or um some burnt on stuff on on the hob this side is a bit more abrasive and we'll, we'll pick it up so you clean with that you then dry behind with the enufil i tend to fold the enufil kind of into four and then fold it over again and that just gives you more surfaces to dry so you've got more surface area to use um rather than using it kind of like that and then the whole thing's wet at the same time but you clean from the the cleanest area of the kitchen so you start with um i don't know the surfaces are probably cleaner and then you work your way around to ovens and cookers and microwaves and things like that afterwards uh, obviously the dirtier it is the more water it requires so that's why you start at the cleanest but you don't have to rinse it out in between times you just keep going it will it will hold on to as long as you're using cold water it will hold on to the dirt as you go so those are the two um kind of main things for cleaning the kitchen that's the glove and the infill but the other things that come in the kitchen pack are these so you've got the dishcloth, which is a regular dishcloth. Well, it's not a regular dishcloth, but that, that's what you would use the dishcloth and the, the sponge, which has the same fabric as the, the glove on this side and it has a, a more abrasive side on the other. So I use this every day. This is what I use to wash glasses, pots, anything. This is what I use. Um, we have a, a pasta tomato sauce type or curry or whatever at least once or twice a week and you can wash the pot with this and as long as you're washing it again in coolish water this will pick up all the the red or the orange or whatever color it may be hold it in the fibers but as soon as you wash it in warm water with a little bit of washing up liquid 
that then all releases and it goes back to being green again. I've been using the same one. I do have two. I do have two because I, I, I kind of have used them all the time. Um, but I've been using the same one for over a year now and it's still green. It's, I, I don't have red stains in it and I haven't bleached it or, you know, it's like if you get your normal clothes, you're, you're giving them a white and then they have to go and bleach to get them back to white again. Um, you don't have to do that. It just, it, once it gets into warm water with any kind of soap, it will release and the colour the colour will be released out of it. So I use that every day. Um, the pot scrubber is just like your normal little sponges that we that we buy. Um, but this, or all of these things, but this is special, it's going to last you three years rather than the, the two weeks that the other ones do and then they start to disintegrate. Um, this side, great for those slightly more burnt on things. I'm very, very, very good at. Um, so that's great, but it's still non-abrasive. You can use it on um, non-stick cookware and things like that. So it's fine for that. And then the other part of it is the dish towel. And again, if you've got a dishwasher, I totally get it. You think, well, I don't need a dish towel. This is a brilliant dish towel. Great for shining up glasses and things, but it's also great for, you've just finished the dishes or you've just washed up for lunch or whatever, and then you want to wipe around the kitchen. So a quick wipe around the kitchen, again, using cold water and this cloth, and you can dry with that. So you can use it as a kind of giant annual fill. Um, I... This just is in my kitchen all the time. We do wash the dishes because we unfortunately don't have a housemaid anymore, which is very sad. Um, but we've got a we've got a, a dishwasher for the, the main stuff, but there's still stuff that doesn't go in the dishwasher. That gets washed and this is this is used to dry and it is super absorbent, it's brilliant. But then once the dishes are all done, rinse out the cloth. So rinse it out in hot water, get all the debris out of it, then back into some cold water, rinse it again under the cold tap, and then you can finish off your surfaces. So you finish off your surfaces with that, that's your wet and wipe, but you need to dry. So that's why I always keep the dish towel. So it may well have, have dried a whole load of dishes. I still then use it just to dry behind rather than going and getting something else out and dirtying something else. So I would say this gets washed every couple of days because we do use it a lot. So that gets washed every couple of days um, in the washing machine. This will go in the washing machine maybe once a week not that often but because it's get it's getting washed every time you use it. it's getting rinsed out and, and soap on it every time you use it so when you have washed that out hang it furry side down to furry side down allows all the water to drip out and then it doesn't smell and the same with the uh sponge i've just dropped the sponge i wash that out every time i've used it and just hang it over a bit of the tap or something and again it just allows all the water to, to come out and it doesn't smell but I would say those two go in the wash maybe once a week once every 10 days something like that they don't go in that often that's probably in every couple of days because it does get used a lot and it does um because it's it's then holding on to the dirty water it does start to smell because of the bacteria and things so that that gets washed every couple of days these ones I would wash probably every time I use them. So that's maybe just once a week. I don't, I don't bring that out that often unless I'm doing, unless the cooker's particularly dirty. If it just needs a wipe over, I use the other one. Um, but these, if maybe twice a week, yeah, probably, probably tell them nice, twice a week. So I'd use them twice a week and they would probably get soaked in some washing up liquid or, um, yeah, washing up liquid in hot water. Uh, and then if I feel no, they're still a bit, I'll stick them in a washing machine. Now they can just go in with normal, clothes or normal towels or whatever they don't need to be in a special wash what i would advise though is i'm going to pop one of these in for you this is the laundry bag stick them in the laundry bag um it's got a very fine mesh so it prevents any uh lint or oozy bits from towels or anything going onto the cloths uh, so just just wash them in the laundry bag so that's pretty much the kitchen stuff. The bathroom also comes as a zone now i know you're just thinking about the um the glove and the end you fill and that's absolutely fine these two will clean everything in your bathroom you don't really need anything else but these will clean everything in your bathroom again don't use too much water when i first got this i cleaned in the, in the way i used to clean so i would get out the the hose of the uh bath hose and whatever and soak the bath soak the shower and then i'd go in with my cloth and blow the straight clean all this dry it up and everything's soaking by the end of it you literally need a fine spray of water. The surface needs to be damp and you just want, and you can feel it. You can actually feel it picking up. And if you've got any, yeah, there's a wee bit, another bit of spray of water, but don't soak everything or you end up thinking, well, this thing's no use because it's soaked and all I've done is clean the shower. So fine spray of water. 
Again, start cleanest to dirtiest, so you kind of do mirror, sink, shower screen, bath, toilet. Do your toilet last. I would always do the toilet last thing I think most people do. Um, but those two will clean everything. The other, the other two items that come with this are a little dual cloth. So that's the same fabric as the glove and then a slightly kind of hairier, more absorbent fabric on the other side. I use this um, kind of in between times. So again, I maybe clean the each bathroom twice a week. I've got four bathrooms, so I'm not doing them every day. Can't be bothered. But I probably clean each bathroom twice a week. So I would say, and, and this will get washed. After I've done a bathroom clean, that will need washed. Um, but in between times, if you think, oh, suddenly somebody's coming over, whatever, you want a quick wipe round, or you just look and, as usual, they haven't cleaned the sink after they've cleaned their teeth and there's whatever, a quick wipe round. That's that's what I use that for. Some people keep it maybe in their own suite and just use that in their own suite and use the other one elsewhere, whatever you, you like. Um, and this is basically your toilet brush. So this, you don't need to use any um, toilet duck or any uh, bleach or anything down the toilets. This has exactly the same, slightly rougher, uh, the same properties as all the other fibres. It picks up, used in cold water, which is in your toilet anyway, um, it picks up dirt and bacteria and holds on to it. So that goes down under the, the water line and up under the rim. I haven't used any bleach in my toilets since last February and they're not dirty. They really are. They're fine. Uh, it, it, it's great. I love it. But I, I understand those might be something for further down the line. These are the two that you need to clean your bathroom. So that's absolutely fine. But I just thought I'd tell you what they wear anyway in case you want to get them again later. So that's those things. The other thing you're interested in is the iPads. That's these two little things. Absolutely brilliant for taking off makeup. Um, again, you don't need to use them in cold water because that could be a bit unpleasant. Uh, and you're never going to get particularly cold water in Dubai anyway. So I would, uh, cool, cool water. If you're putting cleanser or something, that tends to be cool on your face anyway. So cool water, that will pick up all the dirt, all the bacteria, not bad, too much bacteria on your face, but all the dirt, all the makeup. Uh, it'll take off those lipstick stainy things. It'll take off waterproof mascara. Yes, it's not going to take it off with one wipe, but a couple of wipes and just do it gently. You don't need to dig in. A um, couple of gentle wipes round and it will take it off. I keep one by the sink and one, you can keep one in the shower or one in your toilet bag or whatever. Um, two, it's very handy to have and you lose them very easily as well, as I know to my cost. Um, yeah, you go on holiday, leave them hanging up nicely by the sink and go in and leave them. Yeah, done that a lot. Anyway, they are great to have. Two is great to have. You really only need one to get a full face of makeup off because you've got two sides to it. Both sides are the same. After you've used it, hot water, hand soap, whatever you've got in the bathroom and just get right into the kind of nitty gritty of it. Get a good rinse out, rinse it out in hot water and hang it up to dry. Again, hang it to dry. If you leave it flat, it, they can smell a bit damp so make sure you hang it to dry, kind of air dry basically i just hang it over the the little pump bit of the the soap or if you've got a wee special hook or something you can put it on a little hook but that's them they're great so you get two of them per set and it is it is actually really handy to have two of them um as for in the washing machine, mine I probably do every couple of weeks. Katie's I probably do every week because she doesn't rinse them out properly um, and they end up stained. There's, it doesn't affect the way the fibres work. They'll still work. They just look a bit unsightly. So, yeah, she probably wears more makeup than I do anyway. Um, so, yes, yeah, so there's always kind of black bits or brown bits or whatever on it that Yes, it's, just, it's just unsightly because she doesn't rinse it out properly. So what I do with that is I bring it downstairs, I use some laundry detergent and I just give it a good rub into the fibres and then let it soak in a, a bowl of hot water for an hour or so and then stick it in the washing machine, in the laundry bag with whatever else is, is going in the washing machine. Um, sometimes you find though once you've given it a soak and a rinse out is probably enough but if you, I tend to just put it in the washing machine anyway. But I would say mine every couple of weeks every three weeks even and um, katie's once a week it just depends how grubby they get you 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 get to know yourself what you think is yes it needs done no actually it's all right so that's it i hope that has helped and um, please please 
give me a shout if you want any more information. Give me a ring if you've got my number. If not, um, I'll call you. Just let me know what you want and uh, we'll get that sorted for you. Right, take care. Bye.